Hi, we're here with Amold, and he's going to talk to us about Django appointment slots. Hi, my name is Amol, and I'm the technical founder of Velo. So Velo is a uh, online marketplace that connects users with personal trainers or live interactive video. And one of the most important functionalities that we offer is the ability to connect users with trainers by using appointment slots. Now, there's a big trend in the industry right now of creating services-based marketplaces. So think about Uber, uh, Airbnb, and all of these use some form of this functionality. So my hope by, in doing this poster session is that people see that Django and Python is a great um, you know, standard for doing this. While we're developing this technology, we use a lot of other open source technologies as well to combine and to create a great uh, visual experience. So if you look at the uh, poster, I've divided it into a few uh, different areas. So one, this just gives you a quick overview of how our calendar looks like. And this is, again, all developed on the back end using Django. So um, user trainers are able to create time slots that they are free to work out and users come um, based on their own um, convenience, pick a slot and book them. Um, so we offer one-on-one -on -one and one-to-many appointments, which means that many people can book the same uh, slot as well. So if you look at what we do for just from the slots point of view, we have um, used full calendar, which is an open source, awesome JavaScript library that lets you uh, create these visual calendars by just passing in, you know, event uh, data to it. And we use Backbone and TastyPy to kind of get all that information from Django on the back end. Um, one of the things that we do when it comes to booking slots is that we allow people to uh, select a slot, choose the length, and actually pay for it as well, which, you know, uh, which I, I guess most of the other marketplaces also would need. Um, and then when it comes to viewing slots, we get a different calendar based on who the user is. So if you're a trainer, you get a different view. And if you're a user uh, who's just trying to book a slot, you get a different view. And I can show a little bit of all of this in a demo at the end. Um, for our UI, again, as I said, we use full calendar. Um, and we spent almost a year now in figuring out how um, you know how we should be how people are able to search through these different slots so one unique thing that we have to do as a marketplace is that we have to search for slots all across our trainer user base so in a in a, in a standard uh, you know Google appointment slots you're usually booking a slot with just one person but in our case we have the we have the ability for users to actually search for any given time slot uh, across you know different users so we, uh, I'll show you a demo of how we do that. But one of the things we had to think about when we designed this thing was how do we handle different time zones because our trainers are all over the country and how does the user you know, search for a time, you know, specific time and get the right results. And so over time, you also you know, learned some optimizations that people can do. Um, so let me just dive into a quick demo and show you a couple of different things that uh, we uh, offer. So here I have two browser windows. This is my user account, uh, and this is my trainer. So as you can see on the trainer, I can schedule, you know, some ma manage my free time. So let's uh, try clicking on uh, one of them and see how that works. So if you look at that for one of the appointment slots, it actually shows you more detail about what that particular class is. These are all, you know, my demo users, so they don't really uh, uh, mean much. But all of this technology was developed using full calendar and backbone. Um, so let's try and go to today. and show you how you can just quickly create appointments. One of the features that we have is that you can also create, make these appointments recurring. So you can say recur every you know, week and it essentially will create
slots that are recurring. Uh, so once once users have created these slots, uh, one of the things that we do, um, so I I created a weekly recurring appointment, so it's there next Thursday and the following Thursday at the same slot. So one of the things users can do now is they can go and book this particular trainer. So we do that by giving them a search interface that lets you, you know, give a very flexible UI that says, find me a trainer who offers general training on these different time slots. So as you can see, um, you know, my hope by doing this poster session is that I, you know, see gauge the interest in the developer community on seeing if we can make this uh, an open source uh, community around uh, building Django appointment slots. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mo.